and all of us. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. Um, I have 144 participants. Please, I'm going to request you again. If you have passed on our links to any relative of yours or a friend, please monitor them. For us, what we are concerned with is not whether people really attend. That's not my major concern. But my concern is the language that is used after. So please let us be our own policemen. Let us not spoil our brand. Because later, we have people who look at these forums. And if they find that there are forums that are being used for foul language, then it is not going to occur well with us. OK, we want to begin with the answers for question three. Can you give us the coordinates for question three? I'm asking uh, Jasmine. <laughs> Jasmine, please give us the, the whatever, the coordinates for question three. Jasmine is not ready. Anne Grace? Um, the coordinates for the coordinates of A prime. No, begin the. Because you are doing both the object and image. So first, give me for the image vision line. Pardon? I need the coordinates for both the object and the image. So first, give me for the object. Okay, the coordinates for the object are negative three. For A. What, like, what is the letter A? Uh -huh. Yes, A. And then A is A, what? negative three and uh -huh. one. Uh -huh. Then the coordinates what for this. Jasmine, uh, Chirok, please give us the coordinates. The coordinates of B are negative three and four. That's not the one. Can what was it, you know? See, teacher, no, I was giving one of a different number. Let me give the one which we did last. Question three, we want question three. The last question we are discussing. Okay, let me give the point. Mm -hmm. The coordinates for mm -hmm. one and negative one. Mm -hmm. Then the coordinates for Q are five, a negative one. Mm -hmm. Then the coordinates of R are one and negative four. Yes. Then the coordinates of S are five and negative four. Mm -hmm. And coordinates of T are three and negative five. Okay, the, the images. C complement is negative one and one. Uh -huh. The Q complement is negative one and okay. the coordinates of complement are negative four and one. Okay. Then the S complement is negative four and five. Yeah. And then the ones for T complement are negative five and three. Thank you very much. Okay. So we had asked you to try out that number, but for the sake of marking ourselves, we think also to do it together. Okay. I hope you're seeing the screen up on Mr. Sanjave's screen. Mm -hmm. I 
Yes. Okay, since most of you already plotted, I'm not going to delay so much. So my P is one negative one, one negative one. So P is here. Q is five negative one. Q is at that point. R negative four at this point. Then and S five negative four. S and then T is negative. Uh, it is three negative five. Three and negative five, which is here. That is T. Let me write it in a different color. T. U. Recording in progress. Okay. So I'm going to join. As you join also, if you hadn't drawn this drop as an also. Okay, so there we go. We have our five sided figure. I don't know what that is, but it is there anyway. Thank you, R S T. All right. Now we are supposed to also draw or plot our image. So our image complement is negative one one. So come here, complement. Then Q complement is negative one five. So negative one five. That is my Q complement. Then I have negative four one. Negative four one is here. R complement, yes. Then S complement negative four five. So that is S complement. And finally, T complement is negative five. Negative five three. So T complement is here. Okay, let me do it very fast. What were we told to do yesterday? What is the universal way of finding the line of reflection? Mr. Can someone remind us the universal way of finding the line of reflection? Okay, let's, let's have someone. Okay, at such a answer. Isache, tell me what to do. Yes. Yeah, we'll find two points that are close together like P and P complement and P. Okay, P complement and P. It can work for any, but it is better to use the, the ones that are closest to each other so that we don't use a very big radius. Okay, so what do I do? We go at point P. I go to point P. Mm -hmm. Draw an arc up and down. Okay, on either side. So I draw an arc here. And I draw an arc. Uh -huh, there mm -hmm. are right. I'm going to go to the point complement and draw an arc up and also down. An arc up and also down. Then. Then we draw a line through the axe, and that's our mirror line. So I'm going to draw a line that is joining these two points. This has to be this
Okay, so there is our mirror line. Now, um, let me just explain it a bit. Stupid. Yes? Ask as I extend my mind. Now, is there anyone with an idea? We've already identified our line. If you can see, if you use this point P, you can clearly see that this is the perpendicular distance between P and P complement. It is, if I can say one diagonal away, even on this other side, it is one diagonal away. So indeed, this is our mirror line. But you're supposed to go ahead and find its equation. Anyone with an idea? Some people may have done this either during coaching, though officially we've not yet done that part, but I want to see whether there's anyone with an idea. How would we find the equation of this line of this section? Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Um, could you please repeat where you put the compass point? I, put, I chose P and it's image P complement. So those are the points I'm going to use. I put the compass point at P, made an up on the upper side and on the lower side. Then I also put it at its image P complement without tampering with the length or with the radius. I made another up, up and down. So where the arcs meet on either side, then you draw a line through. The same procedure we looked at yesterday. I'm teacher. Yes. I put I put my compass point on R and R on both sides and then Q on both sides. But I got the same line. Yes, you don't even need to waste a lot of time getting two points. Just get a pair. R and R prime. That is what you chose. You don't need to go ahead and even do for Q. That would be wasting time for another number. But that is okay. At least you proved it. Shona Lisa and Annette. Uh, yes, teacher, answering your question, how I found the mirror line, I got y is equal to x as the mirror line because I went to <coughs> I went to the <coughs> x-axis and and I saw it was the point was on one, the line was passing through one and y and also one on the on the y-axis. Mm -hmm. And then I also went to negative three on the x-axis, and I saw it was meeting with negative three on the y-axis. Wow. So your conclusion? Then your conclusion is, oh, what? And my conclusion was that the equation of the line of reflection is y is equal to x. OK, when you are proving, can you prove me the third point? Yes. Those two are not enough. Mm -hmm. Can you give us another point? Uh, Just pick any other point. Or any other point. Yes. Oh, okay, I got a five, five on the x axis, which meets with five on the y axis. Okay. Very good, Shana. Thank Very you. Good observation. So the line, uh, what is that? What is this product? The mirror line. The equation of Is y is equal to x. x. Anyone so, with a different idea or a question on that? X is equal to Okay. Yes, you go on. Hakiza, who is talking? Okay, Joy Angel and Newton. The line of reflection is y is equal to x because mm -hmm. it passes through the y and x axis at zero. I think. At zero only. Hmm. Is that, but the, the conclusion that because it passes through zero may zero. not be a reason because I can draw another line. That passes through that zero. zero, but goes like that. So that is not conclusive. But indeed, it is why it's equal to x. 
So you can't use that as a reason. We are wondering whether there are other people who knew a method of finding this equation of a line, apart from because the previous presenter did observation. She yes. put points and realized that the x values we are the same as the y values. Divine blessing. Do you have another method? May use yes. Teacher, I got x minus y is equal to zero. X minus, yeah, that is the same thing. If you take y the other side, you will still get x is equal to y, which is the same as y is equal to x. What did you how did you arrive to that? Did I you first, no, I first noted the coordinates where the line was passing. Then I arranged it into the table. Mm -hmm. Then from the table, you just looked at the table eh? and concluded. Yes. Okay. Yes. So it is still observation method. Observation. Thank you. Any other? Thank you, Divine. Okay, now um, in the topic we are going to do next, which is next week, we shall show you another method of finding the equation of any line. But as of now, let us stick to that. So our equation of the line is y is equal to x, and it was obtained by observation. You can either draw the, the table and see. When so x is, the coordinates that were given. When x is negative 3, it is negative 3. You can draw it negative also. Okay. Yes, when it was 1, y was also 1. When y, x was 5, y was also 5. So clearly, the table shows us that x is equal to y for all values. So that is observation. If there is no question, then we shall move on to our second number. Someone in the chat, mm -hmm. Tina Lina, mm -hmm. is trying to share a gradient method and y is equal to x plus one. Okay, Shona Lina. Tina Lina. Tina Tina. Tina, Tina Lina. S2K is. Uh, Telling us another method which is using the gradient. Thank so, you, Tina. Tina, now, Tina, Tina, can you just speak to us? Tina, Tina. So, so, Tina, we are going to, thanks so much, we are going to look at that in detail, which is going to be our next topic equation of aligning, including gradient, y intercept. So, it is okay, Tina, if you use that, that is very good. You will share with us next week in detail of how to do about that. So we have our other number here. No, we can't see it the, the, the last question. Okay, ask the question. Yes, I was asking that is it is it a must that you have to mark those points on the on the line? No, no, no. After we don't want any don't points want on any that. Points marked, but it was on the graph. We were just write them somewhere. Like we, I think we write them here. Is it? Negative three, negative three. One, one, five, five. So the conclusion was y is equal to x. Yes. So please don't write them on the graph. That don't write is... them. I'll identify them and write them somewhere else. Is that okay? Thank you. What was that? Daniela, your hand is still up. As the rest are writing down that question, teacher, it has um, also been put in the chat. Yes? I haven't understood how we are getting our line as y is equal to x. Is this Daniela? Yes. Okay. yes. okay, Daniela, just get any points, any coordinates along that line. Okay. So someone, someone gave us one. If, okay, Daniela, you see the, the chalkboard? Yes. What point is this that I'm holding? Negative four, negative four. Good, okay. So if I draw my table, when x is negative four, y is also negative four. Let me pick another one and you say, how about this one? Negative one, negative one. Ah, then I write in my table negative one, negative one. So what do you notice when you look at that table? What do you um, notice about the values? They are the same, they're equivalent. 
Uh -huh. That is why we concluded that along that, that line, y is equal to x. Thank you, teacher. Okay. The question is in the chat, but it is also here. So we are giving you probably peanuts as I clean the chalkboard this side. Yeah. My graph. They also draw another. And then as you're also drawing another pair of axes. So by the time you are through, we shall also be. We also name the near line like when we do near line. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. please. Something we've not mentioned. Once you've identified the mirror line, you go to your graph and label it. I labeled it, but I didn't emphasize it. Please, you label it on the on the on the graph that it is y is equal to x. Excuse me, teacher. Um, yes, I was just wondering, is it possible for an object to have have a deep image um as seen from different angles? The side of the object remains the same. It may face a different direction, but the size must be the same. The shape. Even the shape, shape, size, and the reflection doesn't change. Does your reflection change when you look at yourself in the mirror? Do you do you become bigger or smaller? No, I just asked. I was asking because. Um, yes. Okay, in case you place an object right in front of a mirror, and then you uh, view it from this angle, and then change the angles, do you think the image can change? As you change the angle, it will also change the angle. I don't know what, but the basic thing is that the shape does not change, the size does not change. Like I mentioned, it may face a different direction, but the size is the same. Okay. So I hope you draw, if you finish drawing the axis, go ahead and plot the object and its image. We are also trying to draw our new pair of axis. They also ask us to find a second mirror line, like when when they say a double prime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
that would be a rare question for them to ask you to find mirror line. But if that is the case, you still go through the same, the same procedure. This time you would connect a, a point A prime to maybe A double prime or P prime to P double prime. And then you go through the same procedure. But it is rare that they'll ask you to get to the same question. So fortunately, we finished our new graph paper on the chalkboard. I hope and believe you've also finished. Some of you could even have noted already. But since it's an example, we are going to also do it on the board so that you confirm your answers. This person is taking us to. Okay, ladies, uh, we are going to go through this uh, example. I believe you have written a question, it is in the chat and it was also on the chalkboard. We are going to be a little bit faster because you know how to plot by, uh, by, by, by then. <clears throat> okay, I've okay, this is those vertices. So uh, A is one, two. So when I come to the X axis, I move one step and then two, uh, two steps. Uh, along the y axis, so our a is there, and then b is 3, 5, so 3 on the x axis, and then 5 on the y axis, so have b there, and then our c is 5 steps along the x axis, and then 2 steps along the y axis, and then finally d is. Uh, this is C. Finally, D is a three steps along the x axis and negative three steps along the y axis. So we come down there, and this is our point. So we are going to join at this to form our object. Their, their laptop. There's a lot of interference. Oh, they are phone. What's our shape? And I believe if they ask you to name this shape, you can give uh, the name of the shape. Okay, so we are going to quickly put our image. Our image is uh, A prime negative two. So negative two along the X, negative one. So uh, this is our A prime. A B prime is negative five and then and negative five, we can I can change color, but you that side you can use the, the, the same pen or the same pencil. Okay. Okay. All right, then uh, B prime is uh, negative five, negative five, and then negative three, and negative three, somewhere there, negative five, and then uh, negative three is our uh, B prime. And then we have negative two, negative five, negative two, and negative five. It's, that's our C prime. And then finally, we have three, three on our positive X, and then negative three on the Y. Okay, so it's on the same point and that is D prime. So I to join our edge points.
Sadhguru, that's what you are when you are plotting your graph books. So we are going now to determine the with that. Can someone guide us? Um, someone is going to lead us how to uh, determine the Dav. reflection line. Dav, may you take us through what you've done? A point at point A. Yes, point A. Um, we draw an arc above and below. We draw an arc above and, and above below. and below. Okay, so we have that. Then, Make sure you don't change the radius. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I can also see his hands are shaking. <laughs> and then we put, uh, we put our compass point at point A prime. Thank you so much. We, draw, uh -huh. we do the same thing of drawing an arc above and below. Uh -huh. And below. Maybe you should repeat with a larger, with a larger, whatever, larger radius. That's okay. Thank you. Okay. Then we put, the, we put the point at A prime, draw an arc, and then draw a, a line through both points where they intersect, and there you have your mirror, mirror line. Okay, thank you so much. Welcome. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. So now I want to go into determination. You have drawn the, 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 mirror, the mirror line. Now I want to determine uh, the reflection line. Can someone take us through how they have done this? Another person, you can put up your hand and then take us through. Someone put up your hand and tell us how you've determined this line. Elizabeth Natambi. Elizabeth Natambi, can you check out me? Okay, come Michelle, uh, unmute and take us through how you have determined the line. Yes. I didn't understand what we did. Okay. Give know. us, give us any point on that line. You didn't understand what we did. Okay, but we're guiding you. Can you get any point along that line? Any coordinate? Yes. yes? Like B and B complement or one only. No, along the, the line we've drawn, just pick any coordinate along this line. Two negative. Two. No, Two I negative. don't know how we drew that in the first place. Hey, how we drew the line. Okay, okay. Let's, Let's quickly take you through how we came up with the line, okay? Okay. We got Dav took us through. We got our campus and we choose. Uh, an object and its corresponding image point. Okay, so we put a compass at A. We made an arc above the point, and then this without changing the radius of the compass. Then we came to a prime and did a same, but we make sure that now they intersect. So we made that arc, and then we also came and made this. Uh, so we are going to do a line going through those points. That's how we come up with that reflection line. Is it now okay, Michelle? Yeah. Good. All right. Let's, okay, Michelle. Now we have done the equation of this line. Do you remember that the, the process we went through in the previous example? No. You can okay, ask point. Us a point along this line. Any point on this line? Pick for us any point along this line. Don't. Negative two two. Negative. Negative two two. Okay. <laughs> Negative two two. Another one. May you give us another point Negative still two. along this line. 
Y negative one. Uh, we have a one, one negative one. Thank you so much. A third one. Negative three, three. Negative three, and then uh, three. Wonderful. So now those are the picture of picked. May you now, tell look us, at them and see. Look at them and tell us what you observe about those points you have you have chosen. What is the relation between X and Y? What is the what? When you look at these points, look at this is negative what? Negative two. And X this one? plus Y equals zero. And this one? One. And this one? one. Negative one. And this one? Two. And this one? Three. 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 So, the easiest thing I will give you is add. Suppose you add it. X plus X, X plus Y equals zero. X plus Y equals zero. So, we have Y. Like, okay, X plus Y is equal to zero. zero. That is the best way to select that line. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So that is the equation of a line we have just drawn. So the next thing you have to come and label that the, uh, and label the line with the equation you found out. So uh, I come on this line and then I write this equation. That is the equation x plus y is equal to zero. Because labeling will Award you uh, a mark. Well, okay. unless there is a question, that's what we had to do in our example for. Yes, there are questions, so, Mr. Kali. Yes, Mrs. Jennifer. So, oh, there is the Kalita. Sarah. Then, um, Joanna. Namugao Daphne. Teacher, I wanted to ask, I've understood everything, but I wanted to ask, like, how do you like, get to know when you're using plus and minus? Because the previous one, you said x minus y equals zero, and now you are saying x y equals zero. Yeah. That is why. Say that these methods of observation will not answer every question that you are going to be dealing with in determining the line of the reflection. That line of reflection. Is that okay? There are these ones are basically out of observation. So I will apply your mathematics and you get them. So that's why we want to give you a concrete method that will work for every line that you're going to be. Determining that's what we want to move to that level. So, here we are just using observation. We are deducing, we are seeing what happened and we write down the equation of the line. But that is not a reliable method. We want to go to a more reliable method. Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, if we want to go to a more reliable method, there is somebody we want to pick on. I forgot his name, but you know, you give us. This is where we're going to go to these activities, okay? So, Tina, let us start from your, your submission. I think I can erase this. Tina, you know, put up your hand. Yes. And, and take her through the method you posted. So, this is... I don't know whether you should call it a equation of a line. Uh -huh. We shall look at the whole topic later, but still I like the introduction. Okay? So please. Yes. Uh -huh. Tell us what you do. So, teacher, what I did, I got two points on on the um, on the mirror line. Okay, so I'm picking these points. 
on the zero line, I'm using exactly the points that we have here. Negative two. And the tailorella is guiding us graphic one and negative one. That's what we say she did. Uh -huh. yes. Then after picking the points, you find the gradient of the two points. So she has picked that point and she has picked this point. So she told us that we're getting the gradient. Yes. So gradient uh -huh. is equal to, to um y y one is y two y no, y two out of divide by divide by divide by x one minus x two x one minus x two okay so can you try to tell us exactly what you mean by y1, y2? What, uh, what, can you explain what those points are? Which point you are using? Y1 is the y coordinate of the first point I picked. Mm -hmm. And then y2 is the y coordinate of the second point that I picked. Yes. So the first point is 2. Your two minus negative one divided uh -huh. one minus no negative two negative, negative two, two minus one minus one. What does that give you? Three divided by negative three. So this, I hope you are aware that that is three and uh, negative three. Uh, this point is usually is given the letter M. So what is our M equal to? Which is negative one. Negative oh, sorry. one. Sorry. Uh, what does that give us? Three divided by negative three, what does it give us? Negative one. Negative one. Negative one. So. Yes. The first thing to do, pick any pair of points, get the gradient, the gradient has not, not explained it, but I think you have seen from your two points between the y coordinates and the difference between the x coordinates. Uh huh. Next. After finding gradient, you use the method y is equal to mx plus c to get the equation of the line. So she has told me that I use one of us. There's a person can you say y two minus y one? Yes, yeah. card do. The chat you're saying, can we use y2 minus y1 out of x2 minus x1 to find to give you the same result? So, they're telling us that we go and use the standard equation of the line. The standard equation of the line is y is equal to mx plus c. Uh huh. So, how do we use it? So, what's mx? Of the of the two points that you picked, you choose one point that you're going to use. Uh -huh. For example, so choose a point. Choose one of the points. So choose your points. I negative two, two. Negative two, two. So just select that point. If you follow the steps, uh -huh. so then. Um, uh, you choose the coordinate y in that point, which is 2, to oh, stand in for y. 2 equals uh -huh. m, so m is the gradient. The gradient is negative 1. Yes, so we are also negative 1. Is uh -huh. And the x coordinate, which is negative 2, uh -huh. into brackets plus c, which is the constant. So what do we get? Two is equal to 
two plus C. I get C as zero. So how much is zero? So now we go to the equation of the line. The equation of the line is um, y is equal to mx plus c. Y is equal to mx plus, mx plus c. So you write the, the, the gradient, which is m. So it's y is equal to negative 1 times x plus 0. Uh y is equal to negative x plus zero. Plus zero, can it do other zero? Yes. So that we have. This equation, if we carry this x this side, what we will get? y plus x is equal to zero. Do you remember that that's the line that we are reduced, girls? Do you remember that this is the line that we are reduced from the correction of our points? We are saying D, if we get x plus y, we get a zero. You remember that? Yes. Okay. So this is the easiest way of finding the method. So this is what we will be learning next time because this lady already has an idea. She says, select any two points on your line. You note them. So this is the selection of the two points on the line. The gradient of the line, the other name that is used for you, the gradient is called a slope. I hope you know what a slope is. A slope always is given as change in the vertical divided by change in the horizontal. Mm -hmm. That's why we have the difference in the y coordinates. And that will give us the slope, and the slope will be labeled visually as a letter M. Why, 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 standard equation, like I've told you, it is a standard equation over a line, and please, everybody is expected to memorize this. It will all the components of that equation will be explained later. So, Hello. Hello. Constant C. the constant C is determined by choosing any of these points. Let us practice. Suppose we have selected. Uh, the second point, will we get the same answer? So this time we are selecting, because we have said choose any one of the points. I'm practicing, so this time I'm selecting negative one, one. Right. Can somebody carry us through? We we'll see whether we shall get the same equation. Uh -huh. uh, hello, hello. Yes, Mr. Sanjuri. I can hear you. Um, so many, the hands are up, but um, they are in the chat. They are asking, are we supposed to write this? Uh, we are, I'm of the view uh, that we pause, uh, we, we, we stop at that example, and maybe if there is time, you take us through. The second level because they are wondering why why one uh, x one it's like some of the most of them are confused actually it's like some there are some few who knows uh, what we have what we mean by those gradient eh? so I think instead of writing this maybe you could start on that topic such that the confusion is done away. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Mrs. Yes. Chisam. Like we had told them earlier, this is actually the topic we are going to do next week, how to find the equation of a line. So next week, we are going to explain in detail what is M, what is C. So you may not write this for now. For now. Because we are going to do that. that it is a full topic, which we are beginning. It's our next topic. We've concluded reflection today. So please don't worry. Next week, we are doing this. You may not write. I think we can stop there. You don't need to write. Let us complete our time. I want to go uh, one, okay. one. OK? So somebody who has picked up something, and you help us, we have changed the point to negative one, negative one. Those who don't understand, but I believe that there are some you follow. Pick two points on the line. 
The gradient is very easy to get. From these two points, get the difference in the y values, get the difference in the x values. That will be your aim. This is the standard equation. I know most of you can pick this equation. Now, our interest is in finding C. The employer choose one of the points. Previously, we used this point. Now we are practicing with this point. So, can somebody help me? I'm substituting what is Y, what do I write? Yes, negative one. Negative one. Negative one. Yeah, is equal to negative one. Negative one. Negative one. Negative one. Negative one. Negative one. Plus C. Plus C. Plus C. Negative one is equal to one. Negative one is equal to one plus C. Y is equal to mx plus c. Y is equal to mx plus c. So we write y is equal to what is our m? Negative one. Negative one. Negative one. Zero. 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 We are simply going to be assisting those who don't know what to do. Is that okay? Yes. So what Excuse we are doing is going to be understanding what is a gradient, why, what is the way to understand what is a gradient, you see, that is all that you're going to be requiring, and I believe it will be faster. So have a lovely day. Thank I am signing up. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night.